think there's several issues. I, I like to consider the three C's as I think of it. Uh, cost, convenience, and community. Certainly cost compared to a four-year college, uh, we give more bang for the buck if you want to say it that way. Uh, convenience, we're conveniently located. We're a very small campus and even our larger campuses are small in relation to a four-year campus. If you ever had to go from one side of a large campus to another, I went 10 minutes between classes and it's a 15 minute walk, the rain, sleet, and snow. You appreciate the convenience aspect of it. Um, community is also a big thing. We're a small college. Uh, the faculty is pretty intimate. We all know each other. We know uh, kind of the background of people. Our classes are small. That gives us as instructors an opportunity to actually communicate effectively one on one with our students rather than standing up in a class of 300 and having your test graded by one of 10 graduate assistants or something like that, which you run into in large um, university settings. Uh, being smaller classes, it gives us an opportunity to, to a certain extent, individualize instruction for our students. So you're not getting a canned presentation that everyone gets. You're getting something that hopefully is tailored as much as possible to each individual's uh, needs and abilities. Kentucky has right at just under 30,000 people employed in the area of industrial maintenance. The mean salary ranges from about 11 something an hour up to about $19 an hour. That's an average salary, okay? Some are higher and some are lower. Uh, the advantage of having the degree, of course, is that it gives you an opportunity to step into a manufacturing job as opposed to someone off the street. Uh, typically in the industry we've taken people out of production. If you go into a production job, which is typically a lower paying job, work there for several years, you might have an opportunity to work into a maintenance area and do on-the-job training and over several years then work your way up to like a, uh, a first class, if you will, maintenance position. By having a two-year degree from technical college that opens the door for people to step right into a maintenance department and right into some of these jobs that are pretty good paying. Uh, it's not unusual to have people uh, with three or four years experience beyond their two-year degree making $25 to $30 dollars per hour and in a lot of cases there's a lot of overtime with that. I know some industries where um, industrial technicians are actually making over $100,000 a year. That's not to say that everyone that leaves you with a two-year degree is going to do that because you'd have to create your skill set here as much as you can and then continue creating your skill set continuously. But uh, the potential is out there. It also opens the door to someone coming here getting a two-year degree and then working a year or so and um, saving up a little bit of money. And most companies these days will um, have some sort of tuition refund program. So if you're interested in going back and getting a degree in engineering, a degree in management, uh, that's certainly an opportunity that's available to you. Most industry is looking for managers. So if you do get into a maintenance area and you do well, and you have the skill set technically and you have the people skills and the managerial organizational skills, it's not uncommon to work your way up into uh, management positions. Background in industrial maintenance is a pretty broad background, and I teach pretty much any, any courses that are related to industrial maintenance, including PLCs, motor controls, uh, motors, generators, blueprint reading, fluid power, that sort of thing. One thing that's common to all the courses that we teach in the technical school is a combination of technical study and hands-on study. By that I mean we'll have to understand the theory of fluid power, the theory of electricity, uh, the basics of motor control. Uh, then we have very good lab facilities here where we can go out and take that theoretical knowledge that we have and apply that to actually making things move. Cylinders work, motors turn, and that sort of thing. So the challenge to us as instructors is to instill in our students the correct mix of theory and hands-on. Several manufacturing facilities in this area. Um, there's been a trend over the years for manufacturers to locate outside the large urban areas to go into the smaller towns and smaller cities. And that's opened up a lot of job opportunities for people who don't want to go to Atlanta, that don't want to go to Dallas or Fort Worth or someplace like that and work. Uh, we have automobile industries here, uh, a very large manufacturer in Georgetown, and I 
think the ratio there is, well, I'm not sure exactly the latest thing I heard was like five to one for every manufacturing job at the automobile manufacturing plant. It generates five other jobs in spin-off and supportive industries. So if you're really looking at going into manufacturing, uh, certainly that's an option. If you do that or you decide, well, that's not exactly what I want to do, there are a lot of sales opportunities out there for people that um, sell to um, industry. If uh, you like fluid power, um, there's people that uh, would love to have salespeople that have sales abilities, that have a technical background, that can understand when they go out to a customer and say, you know, well, what do you need? And they say, well, I need, you know, a four by six cylinder with a six inch rod, you know, that's right for 2,000 PSI, and a, you know, whatever. You understand what they're saying, so you know, have to sit there and ask the customer exactly what is that. Uh, that's a big advantage, certainly. Uh, we mentioned um, management, if you want to go into management. Uh, it's difficult with a two-year degree, honestly, to step into a management position. Uh, but it's also rather difficult for a uh, four-year college graduate, an engineering uh, person, to step into a management position. But um, those jobs are there if you want to work in the area of industrial management for a while and move into it.